Hi YouTube, Watchify here with another video. For this one, I thought it would be interesting to do a quick video on the top selling watches on the Amazon website. I had known that they they keep their top selling list for everything they sell, but I never actually bothered to look at um, what are their top selling watches. So I'd be interested to see if there's anything in common among them. Um, and also interested to see if there's any watches in my collection that are here. So I'm going to guess that probably these are all going to be affordable watches. But let's see what else is that we can find here. Number one is the Casio F91W. This is selling for under $19. Everybody knows this watch. It's really famous. It's been around a long time. It's a really small watch. Resin strap and resin case. So it's, I can see why it's so popular. It's almost like uh, if you own this watch and it gets damaged or it stops working, I mean, you could just easily buy another one. Number two is the Timex men's expedition scout this one sells for about thirty dollars it's let's see here it comes on a nylon strap it's 50 meters water resistant and it's actually stainless like uh, black stainless steel i like the way this watch looks it's selling for thirty dollars it's a quartz watch, obviously. And it says it has Indiglo. So this is interesting. Number three is Michael Kors. Slim runway stainless steel. Also a quartz watch. It comes on a metal bracelet. It is pretty slim says it has a 44 millimeter case size that's actually pretty large though it says it has 50 meters of water resistance and this particular model is it's got rose gold accents so my understanding with these fashion brands like Michael Kors Guess you know Tommy Hilfiger stuff like that is that they don't manufacture their own watches they partner up with more established watch companies like Timex, Movado, or Fossil. And they're the ones that actually manufacture the watches, but they put the fashion brand logo on it. So I'm a little surprised to see this one on the list because it's the first watch over $100. But I'm guessing the Michael Kors name is what's attracting a lot of people. It's not a bad looking watch. Um, so let's see here. Number four, this is going to be another Casio A158WA. Similar to the, the first one we saw, but this one comes on a stainless steel bracelet. Popular for probably all the same reasons, but you know. Maybe you don't want it on a resin strap, you prefer the bracelet. So this one is selling for $23.50. So just, uh, you know, basically 4 or $5 more than the resin version. Number five is another Casio. Uh, this one is just described as Casio 10-year battery, so I guess they're claiming that the battery will last you 10 years. It's Let's see here. It's got all the typical functions like alarm, stopwatch, dual time. It's got 100 meters of water resistance. It's got a large display. Um, yeah. So not, not a bad watch, just not for me. I guess it kind of looks like a G-Shock or some, some models of G-Shock, but you can sort of get that look for under $30. Number six, I'm very familiar with this watch. This is the Casio Duro or the Marlin. 
It's a quartz, 200 meter quartz diver. It's actually very popular with collectors as well. It's got, let's see, uh, it's got a screw down crown. It's got a screw down case back, a unidirectional rotating bezel. It comes on a resin strap. It's a rather large watch at, I think it's 44 millimeters case size. And you can buy it currently for under $47. Number seven is the Casio F108WH. I'm guessing this is popular because it looks very similar from afar, I guess, to the G-Shock 5600. Uh, let's see here. It's got 100, 100 meters of water resistance. And it's not clear to me what the price is for it. Okay, so if you want to buy it new, uh, it's about $23. So, okay. Let's move on. That takes us to number eight. This is a Timex Iron Man Classic. This one sells for $40. I'm not too familiar with the Iron Man series from Timex, but um, apparently they're very popular if you're into sports and stuff like that. This one is 38 millimeters. It says it has 100 meters of water resistance. Um, comes on a resin strap. And yeah, they're selling it for $40. That's not bad. Number nine is an Amazon Essentials. So I wasn't even aware that Amazon made their own watches, but they do it for a lot of other things, so I guess why not watches? This one's selling for under $18. It's uh, 42 millimeters. Looks like it comes on a leather strap. And it says it's 100 meters water resistant. It, it looks very, I don't know how to say, basic or plain to me but maybe that's why it's so popular, you know, that plus the, the price, maybe if you just, you just want to watch and you don't want to, you know, spend a lot of money, you know, this, it might be the watch for you. It's got um, four and a half stars rating, so can't be that bad. And number 10, Another Casio, similar to the other two we saw already. This is the A168WA. This is the one I actually have in my collection. And uh, it's just a newer version of the, the other one we saw earlier. So this one sells for 20, a little under $22. So not bad. Metal uh, stainless steel bracelet. It's very small in size, so if you've got a small wrist, you won't have a problem with this watch. So that's the top 10. I mean, what's, what, what do these watches have in common? I would say if the outlier definitely is the Michael Kors watch at number 3, uh, because that's the only one that's over $100. If you throw that one out, most of these watches are $40 or below. And so it seems that, you know, people on Amazon, they don't want to spend a lot of money on a watch, is my takeaway. But it also seems that they're looking for, um, a, they're still looking for a brand name because you see the Casio, you see Timexes, you know, so... Let's see what else is on the list. 
Number 11 is the first G-Shock. That's the classic 5600. And that one sells for about $50. Number 14 is the Casio calculator watch. That one's selling for $23.50. And let's see, the first Seiko that shows up on the list is at number 18, that's the SNKL 23. That's a older Seiko 5 discontinued model. And it's the first automatic watch on the list, which um, is notable. The other thing is it's probably on the list because of its price, so it's about $100, so. There's some brands on here I've never heard of. The first Invicta shows up at number 22. You can see some more patterns here, like you see a lot of more Casios, more Timexes. Uh, you start to see watches from Fossil. But generally speaking, they're all like un most of them are under a hundred dollars is what I'm seeing here. The list goes all the way to 100 and it changes. It seems to change all the time because I checked it yesterday and it had a certain order and I was going to base the video off of that. But then I checked this morning and it was some watches had changed. So uh, I thought I would just live record the video so anyway I thought it would be interesting to show you the list and provide my commentary on it um, don't think there is much else to say um, hopefully you found the video interesting if you did feel free to leave a like comment or even consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in another video